New trial, new jury, new prosecution team. Tonight we're learning more about the new team of prosecutors in place in the Terry Thompson retrial. Meanwhile, dramatic testimony from the person who recorded this deadly confrontation video outside a Denny's restaurant. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, joining us live downtown with today's development, which, Phil, we understand centered around that video, a key piece of evidence. That's correct, Bill, and some of John Hernandez's family members left the courtroom this afternoon to avoid seeing that video played again. It shows Hernandez being choked to death, and shortly after it was made public last year, both Terry Thompson and his wife Shauna were charged with murder. Ryan Steiger took the stand this afternoon to introduce a 53-second cell phone video that shocked the nation last year. He shot it the night of the fight between Terry Thompson and John Hernandez that left Hernandez dead after stopping at a Denny's restaurant in Crosby. Several members of Hernandez's family left the courtroom before the video was played for the jury. You know, it was very tough the first time having to see witnesses, having to see evidence again. It's obviously very tough for the family. It shows Thompson on top of Hernandez holding him in a chokehold. Thompson can be heard saying several times, you want me to hit you again. The two men had begun fighting in the parking lot after Thompson says Hernandez hit him in the eye. Thompson's wife, Shauna, a sheriff's deputy at the time, helped hold Hernandez. Last year, Thompson pled self-defense in his first trial and came within one vote of acquittal. In this second trial, the original prosecutors have been replaced by a more experienced team made up of John Jordan and Sarah Seeley. Community activist Sherry Doerr says that was done at the request of Hernandez's family. We couldn't take a chance on a not guilty or another hung jury again. Um, so that is the reason why we requested a more seasoned prosecutor who specialized in murder cases. And in this trial, the prosecutors seem to be following a different strategy, presenting evidence and some witnesses that weren't used in the first trial. Prosecutors finished their examination of, uh, of Ryan Steiger this afternoon, but he'll be back in court tomorrow for cross-examination by the defense. Reporting live at the Harris County Courthouse, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.